Yes, yeah, sir. So, you know, when you was talking, you said a, a key word that a lot of people are using these days, mm -hmm. uh, detox. So I know right now a lot of people are stuck in the house. You know, they've been eating a lot. They've been eating way more than, than usual. Yeah. Um, you know, they talk that this thing could die down by summertime. We got our right. fingers crossed that we can make vacations this mm -hmm. year. So mm -hmm. that being said, people going to want to detox, man. So yeah. talk to them about the role of, uh, of, 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 like you said, those green leafy vegetables at chlorophyll. How does that play into uh, the detox process? The main thing pertaining to coming to a detox is just understanding that you're trying to remove things that can be causing problems. Like the reason why people have a lot of different diseases and things of that nature because they got too much food kicked up in their colon and things of that nature and the arteries is clogged. So the great thing about detoxing, along with doing other things, but we just gonna focus on detoxing right now, is not only is it cleans your cells, it also puts your body in an environment to be able to fight to be healthy. Because we go, we already go off of a, a paradigm of, you know, trying to, uh, I guess you could say we're caught up into this thing where we feel like the body is attacking itself. The body can't attack itself, you attack your body. So if we stop putting the things in there that cakes up the colon, which is chips, cookies, cakes, donuts, coffee, bread, soda, chips, all these different things, and we start to put more greens, green leafy vegetables, dark green leafy vegetables, uh, like I said, turnip greens, kale, arugula, parsley, things of that nature, we can start to put our body in the environment to be able to heal itself, but also to send oxygen through, through the blood. because. Let's just go off cancer for a second. They categorize you with cancer when the cell loses 60% of its oxygen. So with that being said, if you had more greens, you had more, the greens not only helps uh, purify your blood, it also helps to, you know, create an oxygenized environment. Even Dr. Sabi talks about that. Dr. Afro talks about that, Cream Core. A lot of different healers talk about that. So you're putting your body in a situation where it can be able to fight to be well. And also, let's just say you do all the detox and you clean your arteries, you clean out your liver, you clean out your spleen, you clean out your kidneys, things of that nature, all through the detoxes. Now when you eat something like, let's just say, you eat something like a sea moss or whatever, because I know you, you got your sea moss, you know, you're doing your yes, thing. Sir. Your, your immuno moss. Yes, sir. Now it can be more effective because you done detox your body. You done detoxified your body. So, but like, <laughs> we can't, it can't really, the, the, the moss and these other super herbs and things of that nature that's out there, it can't really be effective if you put in an environment that's compromised. You know, it's no way you should be getting tired after you eat a meal. So, nine times out of ten, doing the detoxes, it helps to clear up the passageways, it helps clear up the mucus, it helps clear up all these different things, and then you're able to, you know, live a, a, a good quality of life.